<laughs> the golden arches. Oh. oh wow, nothing happened. <laughs> that was almost really bad. I don't know how. The Diet Coke nearly capsized. What an interesting angle. We need to like prop it up or something. <laughs> Greetings internet, welcome back to another vlog. We are going on quite the adventure today. It's Jack's birthday. Happy Thank birthday, you all. Jack. 28. 28. And Downhill from here. <laughs> and for his birthday, we decided, my brain's like not working right now. It's like, it's, it's the afternoon. We decided we're gonna do an away weekend for his birthday. We're going upstate to a cabin and Hyundai loaned us this car, which is really, it's an interesting experience. I've never driven a fully electric car before. So, filling okay. it, charging it's gonna be an interesting experience. We'll bring you along on this journey. We have 77% battery right now, so we probably won't have to stop and charge it till we get to our destination. Good range. But, yeah, it's gonna be great. We're going to a cabin in the woods, which to some could be a horror film in the making, but for us, it's it's gonna be great to be just in the wilderness, hear the birds chirping, all that good stuff. A little city break. Yeah, a little break from the city. And yeah, I love a road trip. I love, I love a road trip McDonald's drive through sitch. Any wishes for the weekend, things you wanna do? I wanna do nothing, basically. That's that's the game plan. Mm -hmm. um, enjoy being out of the city. Normal stuff. I'll watch Arsenal. I will watch Arsenal. Yes. Katie, Katie's now a big gunner. She's a big Arsenal fan. Soccer. So soccer, um, football, whatever you want to call it. So we'll watch that <clears> on Saturday. <throat> Hopefully they have the streamers for that on and, their TV. And we're gonna figure out like we don't know yet the situation if we're gonna like cook when we get there we don't know how the kitchen setup is yeah we need to scope out the kitchen see if they have some pots and pans and the restaurant vibe there is not um they don't have a ton of stuff going yeah. on in the town which is which is fine with i mean us. we're not bougie we're not we don't need a bougie <laughs> weekend i would take mcnuggets but i was thinking we can make we can go to the grocery store and get like annie's mac and cheese and just things to eat at the house yeah the plan is to like be just like cozy and ugly for a weekend. I want to be off the grid. Yeah, I want to be just like, yeah. But of course we're going to capture some content. So you guys are coming along with us on our road trip and cabin journey. Oh, the first sip of a Diet Coke. Although they give you a medium. I know. Short changed. It's fine. I don't need, I'm gonna have to pee if I drink the whole thing. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna eat a little bit and then continue driving. We need to figure out how to make the sound or the, the music work because right now we're listening to symphony music. The orchestra. Yeah, but honestly, when you're like getting out the city, it's always an interesting one driving upstate. You have like, there's two parts of it. You have to like get, the, Dan like explained it. His brother. Guys. It's, like, it's like a space mission. You have to like get into orbit first and like make sure you get through safely and now we've got through that. Oh, we, we're in orbit. Which is funny because yeah. this car really resembles a spaceship. <laughs> well, I've never driven a fully electric. I've done a hybrid. Yeah. We've both done a hybrid. Yeah. The Volvo. But this I is drove. the first fully electric. I actually got my American driver's license driving a hybrid car in Tennessee. Okay. Didn't well, pass the first time. You didn't pass the first time. I didn't pass the theory part of it. The what part? Well, you have like the theory. Theory. The test. The written. The written test. Yeah, yeah, the written Theory. test. Theory. <laughs> so I didn't I pass. Fail, I failed that one in America. Yeah. I didn't pass that on the first try either for my permit. But then I passed the actual driver's test on the first try. And it shocked everyone because I'm honestly, like, I'm a good driver, but I'm a very cautious driver. And I thought that I would get in trouble for, like, driving too slow. Because <laughs> that's, like, against the law, you know, mm -hmm. to drive under the speed limit sometimes is more dangerous than driving above the speed limit. Anywho, we're good now. And we're gonna get there in like an hour or so, I feel like, right? Yeah, I think we're like less yeah. than an hour and a half. We're gonna go to the house, scope out the scene, make sure we can get in, and then we're gonna go find a grocery store. Stock up. And yeah, have like a wholesome mac and cheese dinner, probably. <laughs> okay guys, we made it to the cabin. I didn't film anything last night. My memory card was full, so I had to clean that off. And now 
we're back in business. We're at the cabin. It is Saturday morning and what have we done so far? We had breakfast, coffee. The cabin's beautiful. I want to show you guys the upstairs too. It's just the most whimsical little fairyland <laughs> of a place. Explain the stove. Oh. Um, they get what is actually called, but basically you put these in, oh, pellet, pellet stove. You put these little wood pellets in. So we have... Plenty of them. <laughs> we won't do it now, it takes time, but then that feeds through into... Into this thing. Yeah. And then this slide just... That's Jack's flame. job. I mean, Jack's... my job is to keep us warm. Jack is the keeper of the flames. Right now we're gonna go on a nature walk. It's amazing, there's actually a river right behind our house. Should we show them? The river? Yeah. Like when I tell you it's right behind, I mean literally right behind the house. Look at that. Nice being out here like with the right gear on. Yeah. We've been coming out here like with no shoes on. Oh, you be careful up there. <laughs> be a bad way to go out. Yeah, please don't, don't fall. Look how cute it is from the outside. That's the bedroom up there. My favorite part has to be the bedroom, so I'll show you guys that, but yeah, we're here for three days, four days, three nights. Friday. Three nights, four days. Three nights, four days. So we're gonna go for a walk. Yep. And then we're gonna get back and make mac and cheese and Jack's gonna watch his soccer game. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys the upstairs. Not gonna happen, man. It's kind of like a tree house, so it's a two bed. This is the room we're not staying in. So Jack has put all of his clothes on the bed, but it's very cool with the vaulted ceilings and the furniture is very antique looking, like hand carved. I love it. The stairs can be a bit treacherous, you know, take them slow. But in here is the main bedroom. Look. At this magical, magical room. Look at the light coming in. And you open the window and can hear the river from bed. So this is the top window when you're looking at it from the back. It's so dreamy. And when you're laying in bed, the view is this gorgeous, a frame situation. All of my stuff is everywhere, but <laughs> it's really cute. I am just obsessed with it here. It's a beautiful, beautiful space. Bonjour. <laughs> Life of an Arsenal fan at the moment is just the other teams don't lose. Man City are my nemesis. Okay, guys, the lighting is very yellow this time of day or this time of night rather, but we're going to a different part of town for dinner. I don't actually know, I don't remember what it's called, but we're going to a hotel. It's about 10 minutes from our Airbnb and they have apparently a fabulous restaurant. I think I actually showed you guys this sweater in my last vlog, just the kind of mock neck, not entirely turtleneck sweater. I have it tucked in, it's a little wrinkly. I didn't bring my steamer, but it will be okay. I got Jack this sweater for his birthday. And it looks so good. I actually like it. I'm not just wearing it because you got it for my birthday. I do actually like it. Yeah. yeah. No, it's good. It's this like, you can't really tell. This lighting is honestly so tragic. I mean, it's beautiful in person, but it's like very yellow on camera. But his sweater is like a cream, kind of like a, a crew neck. buttery cream color crew neck from Buck Mason. And it looks so nice. Yeah. Anyway, not to like pull you into the outfit of the day, but anyway. We're gonna go to dinner, see what we can see. Yeah, okay, so we're going to 
get in the car, the car. and go. Get in the Hyundai. Thank you. Is it ready? Yeah, it should be done now. I don't have enough room for milk. It's down like a just for a second they could see the lights. Okay, good morning everyone. It is our last full day in the cabin and we have a daunting task. <laughs> so I told you guys that we have an electric car, thanks to Hyundai. We have the task today of finding a charger for the Hyundai that is a fast charger because we tried to charge it last night and we didn't realize there's a difference between like the slower chargers that <clears throat> you would charge your car with overnight, like if you were staying in a hotel or in your garage, if you owned the car, that sort of thing. But we need to find a fast charger that will charge our car relatively quickly so we don't have to leave it anywhere, we can still drive it. So we're gonna go find one of those. I have this app that I downloaded on my phone that shows all the places where there's chargers. The issue is just we're, we're in a pretty remote place right now, so we have to kind of go into a, a city or like a town, like a bigger town, to find one of these. So hopefully we make it, <laughs> we don't get stranded. We've got about 40 <laughs> miles to play with. We'll see how it goes, it's gonna be fine. I'm, I'm not worried. If this doesn't go live <laughs> tomorrow, we're in Yulan somewhere, send a search party. <laughs> send a search party. Please. So we're gonna go find a charger and we're also going to go antiquing, which is what I wanted to do today. So if we sort out the charging situation, then we will go antiquing. Apparently, we're actually gonna end up being in Pennsylvania. We're on the border right now of New York, Pennsylvania, and then like Delaware is over there somewhere too. So we have like, we've actually went to Delaware yesterday. So we're gonna go to Pennsylvania today for thrifting antiquing and i'm very excited i'm wearing this aloe brown little what do you call this like a zip up but it has this like nice warm neck cowl situation that i can button and it's really comfy for this chillier weather it's actually a bit a bit warmer today than it was yesterday it was definitely really cold yesterday but the sun's out which is all that matters. I'm gonna miss this little house, it's so cute. Anyway, wish us luck on the journey. And hopefully we can find some good stuff at the antique shop. And yeah, that's it. It feels a bit warmer than yesterday though. Yeah, it is a little warmer, I think. Yeah, it's nice. So, <laughs> he's stress eating. <laughs> <laughs> We found a charger. It took us a bit of time to figure out how to get it to fit into the car Basically, port. to drive an electric vehicle, you have to have a PhD. Luckily, this guy next to us also doesn't have a Tesla car. These are Tesla chargers, so we thought, we're like, oh crap, maybe we can't charge this car with but a Tesla. But we did our research, so we could. Yeah, yeah, Google said we could, so I was like, okay, we're gonna figure this out. It just takes a lot of, like, Okay, take a deep breath, and we had to ask for help. We had to ask our neighbor, this guy charging next to us, and he... He said he was doing it for 20 minutes as well, so we're not complete Yeah, fools. he was trying to figure it out as but well. But we cause... had to swallow our pride and be like, right, Yeah. he's getting juice, and we ain't got much juice left. It's an saying hour. it's gonna take an hour and six minutes to charge to 100%, which is kind of a long time. So I think we're gonna go, there's like a bunch of things in this shopping center, we're gonna go grab a snack or something, yeah. and just hang out. Um, there you go. Peru's home yeah. depot. I mean, I really, I do love the way that this car drives. And it, no, oh, there's a bug on me. Oh my God. Ah, oh dear. Ah. Don't flick it in the car. Well, it's in the car. All oh. right. It's been an adventure. It's been an experience. We're also doing this for the first time. Yeah. So if we like move forward with this, you like, you wouldn't deal with this. No, we, would, we wouldn't have anxiety yeah. of charging the vehicle. Yeah, and if we had stayed at a hotel. We have, we've had major charge anxiety. If we had stayed at a hotel, we could have just charged the car overnight and it would have been easy. Anyway, these are just things you learn when you drive one of these for the first time. This is a first time experience. People that are gonna watch this video that have electric cars are gonna be like, Katie, oh my God, you're such a newbie. Yeah, but we're also helping for those that, yeah. you know. So if anyone ever gets a rental that is an electric car and you need tips, just DM me, because we've learned everything now. So Learn the hard way. We figured it out. 
Um, thanks to the guy next to us that did the Lord's work. He came through. Anyway, I did a terrible park job too. Backing in has never been my strong suit. Like I'm, I'm not in the lines. So we weren't sure if we were gonna make it, but we made it. And now we're going to continue with our, our day. All juiced up. <laughs> You're relieved. I know, me to be too. Honest. I was stressed out about us finding a charger, but we figured it out. We ate lunch. We went to Marshall's. I got some stuff from Marshall's, which I haven't been to a Marshall's in a minute. And now we're gonna head to one antique store because the other one closes. Like it's Sunday, so things close early. So we're gonna just dedicate our time to one thrift store or antique store and really scour it for some goods. And what's your goal? You want to find something that... Well, I just want to find something that in the future makes me an um, antique roadshow superstar. Yeah, I've introduced Jack to Antiques Roadshow, my favorite show on PBS. I'm looking for things that are like little like writings on. Yeah, we'll look for the maker's mark. Yeah. And yeah, this is honestly, I'm getting like flashbacks to when we were in Maryland. Like, I think we've... We're better prepared this time. Yeah, though. we are better prepared. Um, we were a bit rushed last time. Yeah, and we're... Tomorrow is Monday, and we took off Monday, so we're gonna head back to the city then. So it's not like a rushed Sunday night going back. So anyway, we're gonna drive out to... It's called Holly, H-A-W-L-E-Y, Pennsylvania. We're going to PA. Pennsylvania. We've done New York, New Jersey, Delaware, and Pennsylvania. Yeah, in the last quite few the days. trip. Anyway, um, we will show you guys what the antique store looks like and then I think tonight we're gonna do a casual frozen pizza well we stocked up a few days ago dinner yeah and now we just got a bunch of stuff to red wine make you TV of. and then we we're leaving tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. so we need Popcorn. to pack we need to pack before bed oh gosh that car do you see that yeah he's had better days his bumpers hanging his off. his bumper is hanging off and his tire oh man like the trim all right, sending thoughts and prayers. Okay, let's go. Lego. <laughs> We successfully went to an antique store and got some things. I'm amazed by that antique store. Hawley Antique Exchange. Yeah, Hawley, H-A-W-L-E-Y Antique Exchange in Pennsylvania. Check it out. I a mean, lot of stuff. we spent, how much time do we just spend in there? Like it felt like we were there for like 20 minutes, but. No, we're in there for an hour and a half. We were there for an hour and a half. <laughs> I mean, there's just so much to look at. There's two floors. I have clips in the vlog probably of what it looks like, but. We got two things. Right. Okay. I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation of this, but we've got a Chiadiello. Chiadiello. It's an Italian artist. We looked him up on Google, but it's a watercolor. Beautiful. And I don't remember exactly what time period. I think it's the late 1800s. He died in like early 19, like 16 or something. So it's an old watercolor. And I love a nautical. Can you say what Vibe. you said to the Oh, I <laughs> I have this thing where sometimes I lie for no reason. I lie for no reason sometimes. Like she was like, oh, do you know the artist? Or did you just like think it was pretty? And I was like, no, I collect nautical watercolors. It, it just came right out of my mouth. Like I didn't even have to hesitate or think. It just, it flowed right out of my mouth. So I guess now, Starting today, I'm a nautical watercolor collector. Well, you are. This is the first one. Yeah, you, you have to start somewhere, but I, I totally was like, yeah, you know, it's just, it'll fit perfectly in with my collection. <laughs> I don't have a collection. Anyway, and then I got this beautiful green vase. I loved how the top part looked. This I got strictly because it was pretty. Um, and it doesn't have like any sort of markings on it. I don't know like this, when. This is for the apartment. Yeah, this. Th this one. 
I'm kind of hoping makes us rich. This one we're going to Antiques Roadshow with, but I'm gonna keep it. They'll have to name some absurd price at an Antiques Roadshow for me to sell this. Like, look at the back. When the back looks like this, you know it's been around the block. Like, I nearly bought a World War One ammo box, but yeah. I got talked out of it. You talked yourself out of it. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was real or not. Yeah, but this is beautiful. I'm gonna put this somewhere in my apartment. It'll find a home. It's like a good, it goes with my apartment, I think. Drinking my coke. This is mine, that's yours. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Accusations. Okay, so we're gonna head back to the cabin now and just have a chill night, I think. Yeah. Soup. Pizza. Soup, pizza. A movie. Mac and cheese. Well, mac no, cheese. True Detective. True Detective, oh, true our show we're watching. Don't yeah, spoil it. I'm actually You've seen it. got energy. And I got through like two episodes, well, like one and a half episodes <laughs> yesterday and I was dying. You kept falling asleep and I'm like, I don't mind if you fall asleep, but this is the sort of show where well, I want to watch. I showed you True Detective. I know, but I'll I'll into it. I will want to watch the next episode and not have to explain to you mm. what happened when you fell asleep. Well, I was just, I was done. <laughs> you know, I'm tired. I wasn't even drinking the wine. I was just, I had like half a glass. I had your wine. I drank your wine. Huh? Yeah. Well, more, more left over for tonight. Sure, we have two bottles. Okay. So, that being said, we're going to head back. How far away are we? And I think that might be the end of the vlog, as I know it, because I don't think we're doing anything else, so. Weekend in my life in New York, Pennsylvania, and Delaware with Jack in the Hyundai, <laughs> in a cabin, at the I, antique store. I, I'm not even gonna pronounce Hyundai. Hyundai. He says it wrong, he, it's Hyundai like Sunday. Hyundai. Well, he says it like that and just. European listeners, back me up. Butcher is Hyundai. It? But I get told off for doing it. No comment. Okay, thanks for watching guys, and I'll talk to you all in my next vlog on Monday, next Monday. Bye.